In our first lesson, we took a look at index of a fraction, its meaning, and uh, how it interacts with a, maybe just a horizontal interface uh, without any differences. Here we have a prism, so we have a light incident on this side, but then on this side it's not the same. The angle is different. So let's start off with a, a 50 degree angle of incident here. So white light of 50 degrees is incident upon this side. And we're going to draw a vertical or a normal to that. And that's where we measure our 50 degrees. Now we look and we see that the colors of the rainbow are dispersing out here because when, as they go through, each color of light has its own unique wavelength. And each color of light has its own unique index of refraction inside the glass. For instance, we're going to look at red, which is 1.51, and violet, which is 1.53. So it's the two extremes here, and then there will be uh, angles in between. So let's just take a look at the red line. So we know by Snell's law, 1.00 times the sine of 50 is going to equal 1.51 times the sine of theta refracted. And I'll just use uh, theta sub r this time. And then theta refracted. This time comes out to be 30.49. Okay, and uh, that's what we're going to be looking with to get started. Okay, and we need to then figure out how that red light is incident upon this side and then how it comes out the other side. So we know it's going to be refracted here, so we draw another normal there. But what angle is it as it approaches? Well, we need this angle here angle of the red light relative to the normal. Well, we know that this is a 60 degree angle here because we have an equilateral triangle. And so we need to start off by thinking, what's this angle here to the red light? Well, we know that this angle here is mapped by the normal, so we can go 90 minus 30.49. And that's going to equal 59.51. And that's this angle here. We need to know this angle over here, but we know that the sum of all the angles in a triangle is 180. So if I go 180 minus 60 minus 59.51 equals 60. 0.49 degrees. So now that's going to be this angle here, and I'll try to map that nicely for you. Now we need the angle relative to the normal. So I'm going to take 90 minus 60.49, and that gives me 29.51 degrees. So that's a lot of uh, geometry there to do, but there is a shortcut I want to make you aware of. Since we are using a 60 degree triangle in all directions here. So there's 60 degrees here, 60 degrees here, or an equilateral triangle. There's a little trick. This 29.51 is really our refracted angle subtracted from 60. So we go 60 minus 30.49 degrees, and that'll give you your 29.51. So that's just a little trick there. All right, now let's handle the violet light. So we now know that our red light is incident upon this side at 29.51 degrees. Let's do our violet light and we'll do it down here. So we'll go 1.00 sine of 50 equals 1.53 sine of the refracted angle. And theta refracted this time is equal to 30.05 degrees. Now let's do our little trick to get an angle that is incident upon there. I'm just going to take 60 minus 30.05, and that's going to give me 29.95 degrees. So notice I've drawn another normal here. So and maybe that normal should be a little closer in there, but you get the idea. This violet light will now be incident upon this surface here, and a new normal needs to be drawn. So these are the angles incident for both of these, the red light and the violet light on this side here. So what are their emerging angles? Okay, let me switch colors here so this doesn't get too confusing. Let's do the emerging angle, okay, for the red light. So I'm going to have 
1.51 sine of 29.51 equals 1.00 times the sine of theta emerging. Please notice how we're using 1.00 because it's coming out of the glass, okay, in a vacuum there. And then see that theta emerging, okay, for the red light is going to be 48.06 degrees. Okay, now let's do that for the violet light that's emerging. So we've got 1.53 sine of 29.95 equals 1.00 times the sine of theta emerging. And now we see that theta emerging for that is 49.80 degrees. Okay, so we see that there's, you know, a little bit of difference in the angles. I've kept more significant digits there because uh, really in a prism we don't get this great of a separation there. But you get an idea on this surface here, the red light relative to its normal is coming out at 48.06 degrees. So that means relative to this normal here. Okay, and the blue light coming out, okay, relative to its normal is a, just a little bit bigger angle there. Okay, and uh, it's hard to see exactly where that's going to be. Okay, but it is uh, 49.80 degrees. And again, that's going to be relative to the normal to the surface there. Okay, and I guess I can try to draw that maybe like from here to there because I'm tracing the violet light. And that's how you handle the dispersion of uh, a violet all the way through red light, okay, on a prism.